New tonight, we're learning more about a 14-year-old boy shot and killed in Camden last night. That little boy was attending a birthday party at the Elks Lodge. I'm Jason Martinez. Let's get right here uh, into it at 10 o'clock. Our Kelly Rule was at the vigil tonight for the boy, and Kelly, you spoke with his family. Jason, I did, and they are absolutely devastated. They identified the boy to me as 14-year-old Damian Allen. They tell me he was bubbly and loved and recently moved to New Jersey with his mom to start a better life. They are extremely frustrated because they tell me they have very few details about what happened last night. Yeah, I took a happy, laughing, <laughs> dancing 14-year-old little boy from his family for no reason, no reason. Heartbroken family and friends gathered in Camden Sunday night for 14-year-old Damian Allen. They identified him as the boy shot and killed on Mount Ephraim Avenue near Dayton Street Saturday night. My little brother is the only one who did not make it home. The Camden County Prosecutor's Office says police got a 911 call about gunshots shortly after 9.30 Saturday night. Responding officers found the 14-year-old and took him to the hospital where he died shortly after 10. Officials said he had just attended a birthday party at the Elks Lodge. Family members say it was supposed to be a supervised Sweet 16, scheduled to end at 10. Alan's sister says his friend started to message her, asking if he got home okay. He was dead before we even knew he was missing. I'm lost here. This was a 16-year-old party. This wasn't an adult event. I know somebody knows something. There was moms and dads inside this party. Family members say Alan's mom sat outside the hospital for hours before she found out her son was killed. They believe he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but just want to know what happened. And my little brother didn't bother nobody. Nobody. We just want justice. We do not want the person who did this to get away with it, because if so, it may be your child next. Now, the Elks Lodge was closed today, but I was able to speak with a man who identified himself as a trustee. He would not comment, but he did say that the shooting happened outside the lodge off of their property. Anybody with information is asked to contact the prosecutor's office or police. Jason. All right, Kelly Rule, thank you very much.